Capricorn, hi. So Capricorn, Venus in the third house. So, okay, here's the deal. There's a change that's occurring here. If you have felt alone or isolated, maybe you've been on your own for a while, that is changing. There's a drastic change coming through where you're going to be communicating with more people more often. And I see you getting along very well with like neighbors, friends, cousins, everybody. There's an aspect, a little pinch of kind of schmoozing energy here as well from what I'm getting, whether it's you or another person. Someone's like kissing up to a person, trying to make them feel loved and valued. Lots of flirtatious energy. So I feel like there's flirtation going on. However, you could also feel like you're flirting with the enemy. Okay? So there's something that is troubling you with imprisonment and the shark. So shark here says... Take care, there will be lost the material wealth. And grounds up -er, situations and bounce that require careful handling. I feel like you're trying to keep afloat somehow. But you're very concerned, even with the mouse in this card, you're very concerned that you're not going to get out of a pickle, out of a problem. So I feel like you actually have the gift of gab. Okay, so if you're experiencing a difficulty, you know how to talk to someone, you know how to get what you want. You may feel like you have to trade something for another thing. Like there's a trade happening here. You may feel like nothing is free. If someone's going to give you maybe support, love, this could be money, you may feel like you owe them. Okay, so definitely something is changing and I feel like you're super smart. You know exactly what to say. Your words are like honey. <laughs> Lots of flirtatious energy. Now, here's another thing too. You may be trying to find an outlet, like you're learning all you can or you're trying to find the perfect words to say to seduce or to persuade. You do, you're very persuasive here. But I feel like this could be about money and love. Here's the deal. There's someone here who feels too much concern with sexual matters and you're concerned like, oh man, am I going to be in this tower by myself forever? Or is this my problem forever? There's a change coming in with the stork energy. Also, there may be someone who uh, you're going to hear news is expecting as well. Okay. Um, you need to juggle your situations very, very carefully at this time. You, yeah, the shark is kind of swarming here. So I feel like it's difficult being patient though. All right. So can I get one mature woman? This may be you or the person you're dealing with. You may be mature now. You've kind of grown. You've learned a lot. All right. Yeah. About human nature. There's a main male here. <laughs> All right. So I feel like you know how the other person works. You know exactly what to say to get whoever you're dealing with, male or female, to kind of appease. I want to say appease or appeal to you. Yeah, you've got a wish. Hmm. Let's look into your energy. Okay. Yes. Let's see about all this for my Capricorn. Okay, so someone feels like they've been kind of behind or slacking off and there's like bills to be paid or like work to be done. It's about communication, Capricorn. You may need to like tidy up your communication or documents. If you are applying, this feels like someone could be applying here. Um, fix your resume or a cover letter or something like that. Because it's about your communication and the keywords. I'm getting a keyword. There's a key here. You know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, you have the gift of gab. I don't know if you know that. Do you? Do you know that? Okay. Something else was here and it's gone. All right. Let's see who who's coming in toward Capricorn. Who or what is this energy? All right. What's that? Crossroads. Okay. Ghosted. P 
past energy. We've got ex lover vibes and nostalgia and memories in the past. Right. Well, someone's ghosted or feeling ignored here. But now there's a choice. Some sort of a crossroads is coming in for this person. It's like, should I ghost? Should I stop responding? Where's Capricorn in the energy? Friends. Okay, this is about loyalty. There's some sort of a benefit for you. If you're looking for some... I feel like something's right in your neighborhood or right outside your neighborhood. Something that you're seeking or looking for. It, this could have to do with like money. Something's right outside your neighborhood or real super close to you. Okay. New love. Uh, social media spying. Hmm. Online dating. Okay. So you're no longer feeling like you're loyal to someone. You don't owe this person anything. You don't owe someone loyalty. You don't owe someone support. They may be hyper like sexual or they're getting real antsy about that here. Like the drive to reproduce is wild, basically. Okay, so you're feeling like, okay, I don't know about the trust here or my situation is precarious. I feel not super trustworthy of the situation. I got to move forward. That's what you're saying. So yeah, there's some kind of online peeping, spying, prodding, but it feels slight. I want to say it feels slight. What is this dynamic though for Capricorn and this person? Okay, so that's the crossroads. Here we go. Social media spying. Hmm. There's someone that you're looking up and you're wondering where they went or what they're doing. You're like, is this person ignoring me? Where'd they go? <laughs> okay. So you have unfinished business with the person showing up in your reading. It's not over patterns, back and forth and baggage. So you're wanting to know if someone's done with something. Is it like, are you really done? Are you really good on that? Have you really stopped or ghosted? All right. Show me the person with rabbit. Horny rabbit, eight of cups. Yeah, show me the person in Capricorn's reading. Knight of Pentacles. Whoa, okay. What are they doing? Eight of Cups again. Okay. Yeah. So this person is kind of stuck. They're, they're stuck in a way. And I feel like they like to be on their phone a lot. This looks like someone's always on their phone in front of you, or they're always like on an, a device on the internet, on the computer. They're always doing something. And it looks like there's certain things that they're looking at that get them active <laughs> physically. There's something about them that's, that's what they're looking at, I guess. Things that turn them on could be pictures, videos. I don't know. That's what this person is doing. They may be looking for a person online as well. What is this? Per yeah, the Eight of Cups is here. What is this person seeking besides a release? Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Cups. The Tower, goodness. Okay, so Pisces, Saturn in the eighth. Right. There's a change that this person is looking for, but they're not seeing it. They're looking for a change. They could be trying to see if you have changed, taking your temperature of a situation, seeing if something has shifted. So that's they know it's viable. Give me one on that rabbit. Tower. Ooh. Okay, and the star. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Okay. 
you've told this person they needed to move forward and stop doing whatever the hell they're doing. They're doing some weird stuff on the internet is what it looks like. Or they're checking on you or they're checking on something. There may be a, a thing that this person does, especially involving like sexuality on the internet that you don't, you don't like because there's a woman in this energy. So male or female, I'm just saying what I'm seeing here doesn't matter. It's just that this person is like, you know, looks like they're fulfilling themselves based off of this feminine energy. Because they feel like you're not attracted to them or like you don't feel drive, like, an, uh, like a drive. They're insatiable right now. Show me Capricorn, please. Queen of Cups. Oh, it's you. It's actually about you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this person is looking you up on the internet and getting turned on. Okay. Your photos, there's something like you're scantily clad or, or they're imagining you this way with that star card. Like you, you know, you're making this person get very excited. That's what they're doing. They're coming at you with that, like physical, that vibe of, Hey, this is what I want. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay. How this person sees Capricorn, please. How does this person, Oh, how does this person see my Capricorn? Empress. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. This could be someone's expecting or you're like the, you're the Empress to this person, the seven of swords. Okay. You could be avoiding that. Maybe you don't want to tell them that you're expecting or someone's doing that in the environment here. Yeah. This person feels like you are keeping something private especially from them. You're kind of avoiding this person. You're not doing too much toward them. You refu you're refusing to, I guess, give of yourself to them is what they are saying. You may be experiencing it differently. So you've got Capricorn, Jupiter in the eighth. Yeah. They may feel like you're hiding something. They feel like you're keeping secrets, like you're acting kind of sketch. What do they think Capricorn is hiding? The world. Well, it's because they may feel like you're trying to end something and you're not interested, but you're not, you haven't fully said what you wanted or what you're doing, or, um, they may feel like you're holding on because of a lifestyle that you have, that you can afford in the dynamic. How do you see this person? You see them in the 10 of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Eight of wands. So the thing is, you know that this person is coming in. They're trying to communicate with you. What is this Virgo energy? Yeah, Virgo Pisces type energy, whoever it is, though. They're trying to communicate with you, and you know that. The thing is, you may feel like they're not really interested emotionally. You don't feel like this person is emotionally connected to you, whereas you are in your emotions about something. You may feel better away from this person. You feel more calm away from this person. So here's Sagittarius moon in the fifth. Wow. Okay. Someone's getting super turned on by you and they're coming in and you know that you're in like a very motherly type of energy or there's someone around you that's in that. Like I said, someone could be, um, yeah. Okay. How this person feels. Four of Swords, the Three of Cups. They're waiting for you to respond to them. That's what they're saying. Okay, what's this? So you feel fine where you are. Um, you're trying to stay away from this person in the coming period, Capricorn, because you just feel at ease. Like, you may not want them to know something. What do they think Capricorn is not admitting to? that you don't see a future anymore, that you're getting ready to put yourself out there in a different way, that you're getting attention from other people. This could be online. This person is super concerned that you're online. They're all getting turned on by you and everything while you're online, but you're not responding to them or you're kind of away somehow. You're not fully invested in communicating with this person. I don't know if this person is just watching you online and this is the message, but someone here feels like you are super attractive and you're getting attention online. They're wondering about that. They're like, what is Capricorn doing? What are they planning? Are they trying to like get attention? Why are they posting this? Do they want my attention? Who are they doing this for? 
Wow, what do you want with this person? Nine of Swords. Oh, shoot. You feel at this point you have to end this. There's something coming through that's making you feel you have to bring the tower. Like, what is the tower about, though? What happened? Yeah. Maybe you're worried that this person's very reactive. That's what it looks like. Six of Swords. Okay. Yeah. You've waited as long as you could, though. This is what I'm seeing. Why does Capricorn want this? Yeah. Wow. So you're getting a call back. Something you're worried about is actually being healed. So that call that you're waiting for, it's coming in, or the news that you're waiting for, is it is coming in. Yeah, this person keeps blowing you up. Or they were... So this person's going to blow you up because they want you to respond. They're trying to figure out if you are getting attention from someone else. Like someone's worried. They are very concerned that you are not concerned about them. And the thing is, whatever they're doing is turning you off to where you're like, okay, that was an absolute no. That's absolutely not going to happen. That's not what this is whatsoever. So this person's acting a little bit delusional. Yeah, we've got Scorpio and Neptune in the first. They're they're freaking delusional. They're fantasizing about you, okay, with this rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matter. They're fantasizing about you on the internet. They're looking you up and feeling like they need to come back to you because it's like, okay, so why why do you look like that? Especially if you have social media, okay, the social media card, they're wondering why you look a certain way. Like you're looking super voluptuous or you look real like succulent or something. This person, they're getting wound up, Capricorn. Just saying. Looks like you have to manage something carefully though. And you know that. You feel like you don't owe this person any loyalty. You don't owe them to be faithful or, or sexually loyal to them either. Like you feel... Maybe they haven't been that way to you. This is an acquaintance. It could be an acquaintance that you're kind of trying to separate yourself from or they feel that way at this moment. Wow. Okay. Let me see. This person, please. Dude, they're so frustrated. They are so frustrated. Only you will do. Only you will do. They, they're they trying to come in and like give you something. They're saying, hey, I can give you some money. I can help you out. Like, let me give you a helping hand. Like this person is trying to be there for you like that. They could be wanting you to have a baby as well. This is very side note. They're, they could be trying that, trying for that. Why do they see Capricorn like this then? Yeah, the devil. That's, well, okay. <laughs> Judgment. They are realizing that you have changed. That you are not the same that you were. Something is um, shattering them. They're having a realization about you. That you're not going to come back or rekindle something with them? Okay. Tell me about Capricorn with Grasshopper. Situations and material wealth. Careful balance. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right. So it does look like you have to sleep properly. Like your sleep is very important to you at this time because your health is important. You need to be well rested. You need to have like at least enough peace and quiet through the night. You don't want to be like roused out of your sleep or phone calls or texts, but you also are very protective of that at this time because it's like, I need to rest so that I can be excited about tomorrow so I can put my best foot forward, that kind of thing. Cause you have a new beginning coming in. There is something to be excited about, but it's like you have to not 
blow all this energy at once kind of thing because um, being being super active and then taking a break is more important. Whoa, okay, hold on a minute. Someone's trying to come over too. Yep, they're trying to come over. Can I come over? We can eat and we can eat together. We can drink together, something like this. And someone's trying to tell you that they're gonna give you give you food, money, something like this. Tell me about this shark. But there's like, they want, they want something. What is this five of cups? Okay. Too much drinking is a very bad idea. This may be something that you're trying to quit. Whoever's doing that in this reading, this may be someone who's like drinking too much and it's kind of messing up their life. Like a person's life is ruined because they can't sleep right or they think they're sleeping, but the way that it's affecting their body is not giving them enough rest. So something is ruining people's material wealth or like well-being. Well-being is being ruined. Where is power world okay so you're just you're quitting something quick quickly you're not taking any more chances any more risks yeah you have to get rid of a risk you feel very strongly about that you're not trying to accept someone's offer apology could be as well um okay what is this person's true intentions with capricorn Oh crap, what the hell is going on? This person is frantic. They are frantic about you. I just realized one of your readings, someone's in fear about you. This is it. Pisces, Saturn, and the 11th. They're like, oh no, I'm not going to get what I want. My fantasy is Capricorn. They may also want you to feel like you have nowhere to turn or nowhere to go because you're not going to have stability type thing. This person is stuck on you. What are they fearing besides what we've said? Two, yeah, there's a choice that, wow, okay. This person feels like you're just going to pick up and go. Like you're just going to keep it moving that you are getting further and further away from them instead of closer to them. That's what they're wanting. They have this idea of like who they want you to be and how your situation is going to play out and what's going to happen between you two. And it's like, Oh no, Capricorn's ca has already caught on type thing. They feel like they're not going to change this anymore. Like you're just too far gone at this point. But they're freaking fantasizing about like sleeping with you. They're like, Capricorn's not going to be with me. And wow, they feel like, yeah, something is too far gone. Like you're too far gone from this now. Tell me about this person. One more. Oh, wow. They may have, um, this person can have like a trust fund or they have like, Family money for some, or they inherited something could be is that the star card? Yeah, it looks like this person is hella Virgo energy. This person is uh, like an heir or something, or they feel like that. Like this is someone who they have a lot acquired, but somehow they haven't fully stepped into full boss mode or full leadership mode why is that because well because of sexual matters apparently yeah
they feel like something is never enough. So this is a person who's trying to start something fresh or new financially, or that's what's going on here. This is someone who may feel like they have a lot, like they have a lot, but it's not enough. And it makes them kind of stingy with you. Maybe they're cheap with you as well, or you're feeling this way, or they have been, but then they expect you to like give to them still, maybe even physically, but not not scratch your back type thing. Okay. Someone's worried that you're like, yeah, they're worried about your sex life. <laughs> what? This person is concerned about your sex life. Like you have plans to take it elsewhere. Like, you know, oh, it's not pure anymore or something like this. Show me Capricorn, please. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Okay. That's interesting. No wonder. I can see why. All right. Well, you know, you're coming in contact with new people. It's new friends. Maybe you are online dating. It could be, but you still have unfinished business with this person because there's still a choice to make, even though there's ghosting going on, it may come in. We'll see what else wants to come out, but wow, you have opportunities to date, to like go out. Yeah. No wonder there's a whole bunch of flirtatiousness around you, but this person really hates that people are flirting with you everywhere you go. Your energy is like making people want to flirt with you. This is someone who's super, if you're an online personality, this person is going nuts over you. They're going wild, like kind of creepy. Okay, let's see. What's next between Capricorn and this person? Oh, really? King of Swords. Well, you have a choice to make. You can be decisive about this. Okay. Wow. I feel like you're choosing based off of an energy of lack. You could be sad here. You could actually just feel like you don't have enough that you're like, man, I don't know enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't have enough to my name. There's something that you're thinking about a lot. It's making you feel super bad. You may feel like you shouldn't talk to this person and it's hurting your feelings too. You're like, Hey, I can't talk or you won't, you won't respond to them. And you're, you're sad. You're still holding on to some sadness from the past. What is this five of cups anyway? Yeah. You're not letting this person see you be sad or see you sweat. You're losing your original plan with this person. You're deciding, if this is an invitation, you're deciding no, you're not gonna go. You're not getting something you need out of this and you understand that here. So the Seven of Swords, yeah. Dude, this person is wild. Sagittarius Mercury in the seventh. Okay. Wow, there's a blockage here. So yeah, that's the Sagittarius Mercury energy. This person wants to talk to you. They want to talk about growth and a potential situation or you're a good candidate for this type energy. I feel like this is someone who has the hots for you big time and that's kind of like their main energy, but they're also afraid that you're taking your body elsewhere, okay? <laughs> I don't know what is going on besides that this person just can't stop thinking about you and you going somewhere else. Like you're way too far gone at this point. They're freaking out. You don't appear to be giving them what they want or what they need because your needs are not being met here. What is that, by the way? It's the seven of cups. Oh, nine of swords. I could even be accusing you of like, not being loyal. Well, they're going to get that. Like a person's pushing you away. They're not realizing how they're pushing you away. 
yeah, it's going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy at this point. You need to act based off of like lack in your life. This is something that you're considering. It's like, well, maybe if I date someone, I'll come in contact with people who are beneficial or things along those lines. Tell me about the social media card. Okay. Ace of Wands. Yep. They're wanking it. Yep. About it's a masculine which is feels like that in this reading this person is wanking it over you on the internet they are getting a little obsessive i would say yeah seven of cups this is some sort of a delusion You're okay with this person feeling bad or missing you. You're letting them feel that fire, that heat. You're letting them feel that. You're letting them kind of have questions or be confused or not have all the answers. It's like the situation speaks for it. Someone is like, maybe you want them. It would be like you would have to grovel at this point. Maybe it's even past that. Like somebody's groveling. What's Capricorn's intentions with this person, please? This person could be creeping you out as well. So magician, yeah. So three of pentacles. You want this person to give you something. You may be attracting partners who want to like take care of you or they give you opportunities in business like or give you a chunk of something like you want this person what's that there yeah you're letting them think that you're you're available for a You want them to think that though, or someone does, okay? Because you're already moving on from that idea of being loyal to this person. The reason that you may be involved is because you are experiencing something where you feel not enough in your life, especially if it's financial right here with the shark and the grasshopper, because um, someone needs to like benefit your life somehow. And it looks like they're not doing that or... They won't give you what you need. Someone will not scratch your back, but they want you to scratch theirs type thing. And you're saying for what? To lose my independence? To commit to you? Okay. You want, you may even just want to be alone, but you have a lot of options. You may want this person to think that they're the only one for a period of time, but you have options or you will is what I'm saying. Okay. You also may just be trying to like get a job and you know, that's why you're meeting people because you're, and, and I feel like you're going to get an opportunity because you're, because someone's attracted to you too, but you, you may be trying to get like a job or someone who has a job. It looks like you're trying really hard. You're trying to get someone to help you. It's like, you're saying, Hey, this is what's going on, but they're not stepping up. Okay. All right, nine of wands. They barely help. So if someone is helping, they're only helping a little bit. 33, 33 may be a message. And that's what's making you feel like, what the heck? So I'm going to have to get help from how many people? How many business offers? How many relationships do I need in my life? Kind of energy. What is this person's true intentions? Because you're trying to produce like, more money, more effort. You want this person to person um, intentions, right? Well, they're trying to make up with you, but you're not. You're very distracted, and I would say that's true here. You are five of swords. Wow, ace of swords.
They're trying to make you change your mind and come back. Yes. Yep, they want you to come and go or they want to be able to come and go. This person is trying to get you to come. I don't know if it's like their house, your house, whatever. Come back and forth. Okay, that sounds really interesting. They want you to go back and forth from their home to your home type energy. And stop waiting. It's like, stop waiting. You're not answering me. Yeah. So they're worried what you're hiding now because you're not responding to them like you used to or they think that you should type thing. But they're, wow, this person's freaking out. Yeah, this person keeps showing up in your readings. I don't remember if it was a Virgo every time, but that's what this is. Like someone's panicking about losing you. I do feel like this is too far gone. This may be more so like a, something because of the consistency or because it's practical. And that's why it's kind of like keeps going a little bit. They're like, I'm not lazy, I swear, or something. You want them to get a job. This may be someone that you want to get a job. It's like, you need to get a job. You can't just live off of like your family or just because you have a good backing and people have taken care of you or done things for you or you, you've you achieved this much doesn't mean you should sit around type energy or something like that. Okay, could be. Because someone here has assets, money, or some kind of strong family system like that. All right, well... What is this person? Okay, lovers, damn. What is this person doing next for Capricorn, please? Yep, here they come, my babe. Six of Pentacles, yep. Yeah, so somebody's trying to take you out. They're like, hey, let me help you. Okay, I'll totally help you here. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, you're getting what you want. What you're trying to get this person to do, they're going to do. With that, they're going to produce this Ace of Pentacles for you. They're going to give you the aid or the assistance or the support, whether it's emotional. It looks financial in this reading. What is this right here again? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yep, you're getting it. You're kind of stressed that like, it's like, why is this person making me beg or making me have to ask? Like they should, they should be um, forward or they should take the initiative. You want this person to sweat a little bit. You enjoy that they're stressing that something is over because you know that's the only way to get them off their ass or the only way to get them to give you what you need and want with the lovers. They are going to Capricorn. Wow. So this person going to pick up the slack. They're going to help or they're going to be supportive in whatever way that is. It's like someone's going to give you money too. And then you, and then you can like ignore them again or something like that, or pretend like you didn't get it. I don't know Capricorn. Okay. I'm not saying to do whatever, but okay. Just saying. All right. Um, what's next Capricorn and this person. Okay. Yeah. So you have a choice to make. Yeah. We know. Yeah. King and queen. Wow. Ace of pentacles. Here we go. Nine of cups. Yep. You're getting what you want. That's what I thought. The three of cups. So you can get back along with this person if you want to. King and queen of pentacles, earth sign energy. Okay. There's a new, there's a new offer here. It's a wish fulfillment of yours. It's coming in something that you're working on that you're intentional about. It's coming in. This is good news. It's happy news. Okay. It's like, okay, phew, my troubles are over, right? That's what this is. Things are benefiting you. Can I get advice for Capricorn, please? Capricorn. Six of wands, eight of cups, ace of cups. Five of pentacles. Hmm. Are you worried about what something looks like? Because this is saying not to worry about people's opinions, people's approval, or people's impression of you. It's like you're meant to not care, and that's going to be very healing. It's like if you have a need, or you have a desire, or you have like something missing, you have a right to get that with the Ace of Cups. 
like if this is healing, you know, you're ready to heal or you're ready for something that is more loving for you. It's like, it doesn't matter what people think in the ways that you have to go about getting that. I feel like too, it's, it's talking about stopping giving someone attention or stop trying to get attention. Like a person needs to stop that. This could be online, like ghosting social media, for example, or turning it off or stop putting so much attention into it. It could be that someone's like addicted to that. Maybe it's this person with the sexual matters. So Aquarius moon in the seventh. Yeah, someone needs to stop finding someone online. Stop being able to see whatever they're posting so that they can heal. Maybe it's time for a break from social media judgment. Yeah, you're making a choice here. You're like, I don't care what it takes. I have to do this. Okay, Sagittarius, Mars in the fourth. Hmm. You're getting a new lease on life, especially with your comfort zone. It's like you don't care anymore about some people's opinions or what somebody thinks. You don't care anymore. You're reaching a new level of honesty because of this or a new level of like, oh, I don't give a crap. You know, this is what it is. I feel like too, what is this about? Hold on. What's this? Six of pentacles. Someone could need aid or treatment. You need to stop something you're doing as well. What is this? Ten of Cups. Two of Pentacles. This could be about your family. Like you don't care what they think anymore, what your family thinks or what your home looks like, what kind of life you're living. You need to detach from this energy. Because there's some sort of superficiality that's keeping you from what you're actually seeking, which is peace, which is healing. You may be looking in the wrong place for that. Okay, so. You need to spend more time with your loved ones, with your family and like not on the internet too. like be involved in your community or your family. Okay. Or someone does. All right. For Capricorn, please. A time for healing. Yeah. We said that. And a new romantic cycle begins. Confidence is your key to success. Yeah. It's like, who cares what people think? As long as you know this is the path that you're supposed to be going down. It's like there's some news that you may be giving people that you also feel bad about too. It's like, hey, this is the choice I'm making or this is what I'm doing. You may be fearful to hurt someone's feelings. You may be um, concerned with stopping something that you know you need to stop doing. Or it's, it's like being confident about knowing that something is healing for you and not necessarily whoever you're detaching from or social media that you're detaching from or this person. Okay. A time for healing new romantic cycle begins. Okay. One for Capricorn. Yeah. Authenticity. Exactly. Exactly. 
It's like someone's lying to keep up appearances. Is that you? Okay, so if that's the case, it looks like your livelihood is depending on that. Or it's like you're deceiving a family situation or a person because of your livelihood or because of something that you need, it, like material, maybe money. Um, damn, it's time to confess the truth. It's going to hurt somebody's feelings. The truth is going to hurt someone's feelings. Okay, well, uh, the state of authenticity, Perpetua, I am my authentic self in all circumstances. Okay, looks like a promise. Looks like a vow. Looks like almost scouts honor, not quite. <laughs> okay, so Capricorn, what? So you have a new opportunity, but... You have to be honest with someone about that. You don't have to. This is advice, though. Just saying. All right, for Capricorn, please. It's like something's benefiting you, though. So I don't, you know, however you need. The Divine Mother, unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. Yeah, nobody's going to judge you. It's not what you think. Like, I feel like you could be worried what people are going to think about. Maybe it is going to hurt someone's feelings, but you're not going to be judged the way that you think. Like, I feel like something is different. The first woman, I'm the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. It's like be yourself unapologetically kind of energy. If you're trying to keep up appearances, that's not the vibe for you anymore. And you're going to get tired of that yourself. Um, but you may need to like safely transition from one energy to another. Okay. So yeah, thank you Capricorn. I'll see you next time.